How does it feel to be an honoree? If you're good. Better than good. Since 1974, we went up there in Washington, and I hollered, who that? So that's the reason, who that? Who that gonna be the Wildcat? All right, who that? Who that? St. James jumps up, seven to nothing. And our friend is all excited about it. Third and goal from the Lutcher 10 yard line. Corey Webster, a good quarterback. Alvin Bartholomew, 10 yards. And the touchdown, 14 0. Oh, he, yeah, you're right. He is pumped. You're right. St. James defense, though, they're always good. Jeremy Harry, Sachs quarterback. Thomas Ricks for a big loss deep in Lutcher territory. And then the Wildcats are going to finish off the first half. Running back Jasmine again. 41 yards. He had a tremendous night. Statistically, was off the board tonight. St. James wins big, 21 0 at this point. And it ended. Upriver, 34 7. Albert Zupik Smith was an invaluable member of the St. James Wildcat staff for nearly 20 years, beginning in the mid 1980s. As field operations manager, Mr. Smith was responsible for a tremendous number of tasks while maintaining his status as the ultimate Wildcat superfan. He worked tirelessly on and off the clock to assure that the condition of the field, facilities, and stadium was better each and every year. Shoepick was electric, always willing to find the news camera to let Louisiana know that his Wildcats were number one. Television took his fame to a new level. For years, he was known across the state as the St. James guy. On Friday night football highlight shows, dancing his way to the end zone, high stepping along the sideline, and joyfully dancing around the sideline were staples of his Wildcat swag. His proudest moments were spent cheering on his son, Tevis and Chad, through two trips to the Louisiana Superdome for the 1994 and 1996 state championship games.